In this video, we will see how we can create triangulated Terra follow missions with a simple polygon. We will use HDR Pano 3D, Lychee and also DJI Palette 2. Here we are on, on the ridge, on the mountain. If you have a ridge, we have always to start a mission there. And then the latest waypoint I place behind waypoint 1. So I'm be sure that the triangulation will go from 1 to 5. That's very important. And we do the same if we have a V valley shape. We can see that on the, the other mission I will create. And now as we have the altitudes, we can see that we have not to be below. Here we have some uh, waypoint below 0 meters. As we start here at about 30 meters, we go down here. So I have to move this waypoint that I'm always in positive altitude. We check the others. This one is also a little bit low. Now it seems correct. The final mission will always be 30 meters above ground. That's very important if, with the elevation calculation of uh, this program. And uh, that's all. So we have created a rich mountain mission and we will export it as a CSV file. We go down to a V shape valley here. It's the Alp, it's the Magis Alp. So the lowest point is uh, around here. And I will also go with the latest waypoint behind waypoint 1 to have a clear line between 1 and 6 to be sure that the triangulation works fine. We can then always check that we have no points below 120 meters on this shape, but it seems not to be the case and we will always see it in the simulation from my program. If we go in the mission polygon file, the CSV file, we can find here at the third position 30 meters altitude. It's for all the waypoints the same as it's not calculated for the elevation, but that's not important. So the program reads this first line, 30 meters, and the last value we find here, the 10 meters, is the photo distance trigger. You can see that in the explanation in the first line, photo distance interval. That's how it works for the Lychee CSV file. So only the first line is important to change something. If you will change the whole mission altitude lower or higher, you can do it here. Only the first line and the distance trigger, it's this value here at the end, 10 meters. The program is made with Python. It's in the beta phase and it will be implemented into Swift code for the map creator soon. So I, I have here several uh, CSV polygon missions. We type HDR piano triangulation and I will choose the Magisalp file. Now we have several comments. We will first go into the comments. So we have a radius on the mission for 471 meters. It's quite big. And the photo distance trigger seems to be too small with 10 meters. We have 8,000 points for the large grid, 630 photos for inside the polygon. We have uh, finally 75 waypoints for the mission and we have 11 triangles. Now we created three files, two files, KML, one for Google, one for DJI Palette, and the mission file, the CSV file for HDR Pano 3D or Lychee. Here we can see the ridge of the mountain. 
you have no passages below and we can see the lowest point is at about 30 meters and we go up to about 80 meters here so always check that you are in the allowed space and that you go not down too much with your waypoints here we can see the v-shaped mission so we have always to check that if we change the triangles that we are not below we have here a line below but it's not very important you can always see the space between zero altitude and 120 meters so we are perfectly in and we can say that's a perfect mission i use google earth pro so i can use several missions into the same view So I loaded the Carmel file for Google. The Carmel file for Google Earth used the relative to ground altitude. That's uh, indicated also in the CSV file. And the Carmel file for the mission has the start point, start altitude, and then the different altitudes from the waypoints. That's different. So in Google Earth, sometimes the relative to ground altitude is not so very precise due to the, the model into Google Earth, not, not for the, the mission file. So you have to be aware about that. Here we can see 30 meters above ground. In this region, I tested several terrains to, to see how it works. You can always check with the Google Carmel file the result of the mission. And the advantage of the Google Earth Pro, you can treat several files. Here you can see the V Valley shape. So that's the lowest point straight. This line, and then we go up each side. And we have the contrary. If we go to the ridge of the mountain, always have always a line between the two points here, as I showed you before. Now let's see how we can load the mission kernel file into DJI Pilot 2. We have to change some settings. So for the mission settings, we go to, to the mission type to continuous flight with radiuses. And we have also for the waypoints, for the first, first waypoint to change to distance interval. For each Camel imported file is the same. We have to go to continuous flight with radiuses and for the first waypoint we start the mission trigger. In HDR Parna we have the advantage that we can set a mission offset. We can change the altitude and we can change the start position. That's important if you don't use an RTK aircraft. In Leech it's also very simple. You just load the mission and then you can check all the waypoints. For Leech you have first to load the CSV file into the mission hub and then upload it to your database. Just imported the CSV file from the ridge from this mountain. And so you can see we are here about 85 and the lowest it's about 30 here. We have to save it to the database from Lychee. Now where you can find the program, it's on my homepage, hdrpano.ch. Under technology, mission triangulation 3D. You can see it here for the HDR Pano 3D app and also for Lychee, some explanations. And you can download it for Windows and also for macOS. Some details how it works. Here you can see a mission polygon with a triangulation. First a simple mission inside this polygon. And after the triangulation, for each triangle 
we create an own mission pass. That allows us to calculate the elevation for each of these waypoints with only the elevation points from the polygon. So with only 10 polygon uh, waypoints with elevation, I can calculate then all what's inside on the triangles. I hope you will give it a try. It's now in the beta phase and all your comments are welcome. If you are missing some functions, please let me know. You can use the comments. I hope this video is useful. Until the next time, thanks for watching.